Do you feel low, unmotivated, or unenergized? Or maybe you are just feeling stressed, lonely, and disconnected from your relationships and even yourself. If you are feeling any of these emotions, the two main culprits are dopamine and oxytocin. All of your feelings and emotions are a result of chemical reactions taking place in your body. The feeling of satisfaction that you achieve after working hard to reach your goals is partly due to a rush of dopamine. In fact, some studies indicate that having more dopamine leads to increased ambition. For example, in one study, rats with more dopamine climbed a fence to a larger pile of food, while rats with a lower amount of dopamine opted for smaller piles of food. This chemical is one of the central power drivers for all the work of your brain. Without dopamine, you would be quite unhuman, since it is the key force behind most of your actions and interpersonal relationships. Sometimes called the molecule of happiness, dopamine tends to be the scientific explanation for why we can be happy or experience pleasure. During pleasurable situations, this neurotransmitter is released, which causes a person to seek out a desirable activity over and over again, such as eating ice cream or, more practically, having sex. Dopamine also helps regulate our senses of feeling awake and alert. A study of well-rested and sleep-deprived individuals showed that the sleep-deprived people have less dopamine binding to the dopamine receptors in their brain. Dopamine also plays a role in controlling movement. A lack of dopamine in the brain leads to uncoordinated movements throughout the body. And the list doesn't stop there. Dopamine helps to improve your working memory. Since dopamine affects your memory, it also affects your learning processes and how you retain information. When dopamine is present during an event or experience, we will remember it. And if it's absent, we usually won't remember a thing at all. Because dopamine is tied to your reward center, if you don't feel interested in specific activities or learning certain subjects, then dopamine levels will decrease and your brain won't feel motivated and you won't be able to remember the facts that were presented to you. Now, if hormones could win popularity contests, oxytocin might well be the queen of the day. It's sometimes known as the cuddle hormone or the love hormone because it is released when people snuggle or bond socially. Sexual activity also causes the release of oxytocin. Particularly, arousal and orgasm are associated with the hormone. Oxytocin is an especially important hormone for women. The hormone causes uterine contractions during labor and helps shrink the uterus after delivery. When an infant is breastfeeding, the stimulation causes a release of oxytocin, which in turn orders the body to release milk for the baby to drink. Oxytocin also promotes mother-child bonding. Studies show that female rats find pups to be aversive when the females are virgins. The hormone is also present in men, playing a role in sperm movement and the production of testosterone. Yet another positive effect of oxytocin is anxiety relief. In both men and women, increased levels of oxytocin are linked to feelings of reduced stress and anxiety. There are, of course, many other chemicals that impact our behaviors, but dopamine and oxytocin stand out as some of the most influential factors in humans' day-to-day -day lives.